Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For this tutorial, I will teach you all how to make a Pop-Tart plushie. This is a fun, easy, and quick project for beginners. The materials you'll be using will be listed above on the screen. Okay, so let's get into the tutorial. To begin, you will create a slip knot. And to create a slip knot, you will just fold the yarn onto itself like this. Grab these two over here and then don't let go of it. Twist your yarn and then come in through the back of this little circle you made here. And then we're going to grab the piece of strand that the that's not attached to the yarn ball. So you'll grab that piece of strand and pull it through to create a slip knot. And then you're not going to let go of these two strands over here. Then you will insert your hook and make that loop a little bit smaller up on your hook there. To chain, first you will need to yarn over. So a yarn over is you will go under the yarn and then hook it like that and then that's a yarn over. So once you have yarned over, you will pull it through the loop on the hook and then you have created a chain. To do that again, you'll yarn over, so you'll go under the yarn and hook it, then pull it through the loop on the hook there. Then you have created another chain. This yarn is going to be really hard to see these chains, but if you just kind of feel where they are. And then you can even use stitch markers to help you guide you. But you'll just yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook until you have the desired length. I ended up chaining 30 stitches. Once you have chained 30 stitches, I will meet you guys back. Okay, so once you have chained up 30 chains, what you'll do is you will skip that first chain there. See how your finger, you can kind of feel where it is. So you're gonna skip this first chain, and then in the second chain there is where we will work one single crochet. So to do that, we'll skip over that first chain, and then in that second one, we'll insert our hook. We'll do a yarn over again, so you'll yarn over by going under the yarn and hooking it. And then we're going to pull the yarn through the chain, and that leaves you with three loops on the hook, or two loops on the hook there. So then you will yarn over again, and pull through the two loops. Then that leaves you back with one loop. So then you'll go to the next chain there. Again, you can just kind of feel, okay, so we worked into that one there. So we'll work into this one next. So you'll insert your hook through that chain there. Yarn over, pull it through the chain. That leaves you with two loops on the hook. So then you'll yarn over again pull through the two loops and now you're back with one again so then you'll feel for the next one see it's right there so you'll just insert your hook yarn over pull through the chain yarn over and pull through the two loops You'll repeat this all the way down the chain. And you will have a total of 29 single crochets. So I'll meet you guys back once you have inserted one single crochet into each chain all along here. Okay, so now that you have a single crochet into each stitch, what you'll do is you will chain up one, so you'll yarn over, pull through the loop on the hook, then you will turn your work 
because you're going to be working back along this portion here. So in that first stitch there, we're going to insert another single crochet. So you'll insert your hook, you'll yarn over, pull through, that leaves you with two loops on the hook again, so you'll yarn over and pull through the two loops. And then it leaves you with one on the hook. So then in the next stitch you'll insert another single crochet. It's going to be just like the previous round, you're just going to insert one single crochet into each stitch. So then in the next stitch you'll insert your hook yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so again for this row you're just going to insert one single crochet into each stitch. I will meet you guys at the end of the row. Okay, so now that you have two rows of just single crochet done, you're basically just going to repeat this concept of chaining up one to get to the next row, flipping your whole piece of work, and then single crocheting in each stitch. Just one single crochet into each stitch. And at the end of each row, you will chain up one, turn your work, and start the next row. So I will meet you guys back and let you guys know how many rows I ended up doing. So I ended up doing 40 rows of single crochet for the back panel of the pop tart. To fasten off and secure the back panel, you will just yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook and pull the yarn all the way through and pull tightly to secure. Once you have created the back panel, you will create a front panel the exact same size. Okay, so now that you have two panels, what you'll do is we're going to be single crocheting along the top and the sides here in the bottom. And then we're going to go up the last side here, but we're going to leave open a little portion right here so that we can stuff the middle. Okay, so first you will attach the brown yarn to the corner pieces so you'll find that first single crochet over here and the first single crochet on the back portion there. So what you'll do is you'll pull through a new piece of yarn in those corners there and attach it by just doing a simple knot. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll insert our hook through that first single crochet and the back one there. And then we'll pull through the yarn to get started. Pull through the front and the back and now you have a loop on the hook. So what you'll do is chain up one. You'll yarn over, pull through the loop on the hook. Then in that first chain again, you'll insert one single crochet. So you'll insert your hook through that first stitch and the correlating stitch in the back. The first stitch in the back portion there. And it might be kind of hard so you can even separate it a little bit. Find that first stitch back there. Then we'll yarn over. We're going to pull through the back and the front there. And that leaves you with two loops on the hook. So then you'll yarn over again pull through the two loops. Then kind of pull up this loop a little bit so that there's like a little bit more slack. Then you'll go to the next stitch, the next single crochet there. Insert your hook through the front, find the back next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through the back and the front. You have two loops on the hook, so then you'll yarn over, pull through the two loops. Okay, so that's another single crochet, and then you're just going to do this all along the edge there. So you'll insert your hook through the next stitch, go to the back, find the next stitch there, yarn over, 
pull through the panels there, yarn over, pull through the two loops. You'll repeat that over and over. So now what you'll do is just you'll single crochet these two panels together at the top until you get to this corner and then I will meet you guys back. Okay, so now that you have single crocheted along this edge here, we are at this corner with these two strands. So these strands will just kind of tuck under there or you can sew them in before you start single crocheting. But now that we're at this corner stitch, the last stitch that we inserted in, we're actually going to insert two more single crochets in that same stitch. So we'll insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So that's the second single crochet in that stitch. And then we'll create a third. And this kind of rounds out your corner to where you can start working on the other side. So then we'll turn our work. So now that we're working on the other side, what you'll do is work into the side of the stitch. So see, this is a row of single crochet. That's a row of single crochet. That's a row of single crochet, fourth row. So in that first, we'll just work into the side of the stitch there. So just insert your hook, kind of just wherever it will fit. You'll just kind of have to shimmy it. See the back one there? Let's see, so that's the first one. Just kind of feel around, make sure you're going to the right ones and just single crochet like we did on the top. It's gonna feel a little bit awkward working into the sides of the stitches, but you'll get the hang of it after a while. Now we did the first one, we'll go into the second, work into the side of that one. Find the second one back here. Just insert another single crochet. And since this is repetitive, I'll do this off camera, so you're just going to attach it the best that you can. And because it was 29 rows going down that we did for the panels, just make sure you're doing 29 single crochets on the side to make it even. Okay, so now that we have done two of the sides, we are back at another corner. So like we did before, that corner stitch, we'll insert our hook, corner stitch on the back panel there. Then we will insert three single crochets into that same area to make it kind of curve. And since it's pretty repetitive, you'll just single crochet along the other two sides that are open right now. However, when you get back to where you started, leave open a little gap right there so that we can stuff the inside before we close it up. Okay, so now that we have single crocheted all along the edges here and left open a little opening, we will now get our stuffing. Okay, so now that we have a little opening, we'll take our stuffing and we'll just kind of stuff it to whatever desired thickness we would like. Okay, so now that you have stuffed it to your desired amount, this is about the thickness that I did. Okay, so now that you have stuffed your piece to your desired amount, you'll finish out the single crochet to close up this round, or to close up this edge here. So you'll insert your hook wherever it will fit and finish single crocheting out this little opening here. If you have like a loose strand here, you'll just kind of tuck it into the piece so you don't have to sew it in. And 
And now we're back at this first single crochet. So what we'll do is insert two more into that same area to mimic the three into the one um, stitch that we've been doing in each corner. So just insert your hook, that same stitch, and then insert two more. Single crochets. And then you'll find that first single crochet again and you'll slip stitch. So you'll insert your hook at the top of that stitch, yarn over, pull through the stitch, and the loop on the hook. So now that we're at the corner again, we will chain up one and then you'll insert one single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that until you get to the next corner. You'll repeat one single crochet into each stitch until you get to the next corner. Okay, so now that you have made it to your first corner, what you'll do is you'll find that middle corner stitch, that set of three, that middle one, that's right there. That's where you will insert three single crochets again. So, for that first one of the three, you'll just insert one single crochet. And now that we're at the middle one, we'll insert three single crochets. So that's one, two, and three, all in that same stitch there. So now that you have the three single crochets into the middle stitch, you'll just insert one single crochet into each stitch until you get to the next corner. So now that we have added a second layer of crust, You'll just go along each edge and follow the same pattern until you have two layers of crust. Okay, so now that you have your crust done, all that's left to do is to add on your sprinkles or your swirly design. This is how much brown I have left, so I'm going to use this to make a swirl and I will do that using a yarn needle. So once you have your yarn needle threaded up, you will start to embroider the icing drizzle. I just used short little stitches and kind of went back on itself and pulled it through the same hole there so it's coming out the same hole. So yeah, I just did a series of short stitches that kind of go back on itself a little bit. You can kind of keep mapping it out to keep an idea of where you're headed. I am by no means an embroidery expert. I'm just kind of winged this. So yeah, you'll just insert your stitch and then slightly go back and then pull forward, if that makes sense. So you'll just do a series of short stitches until you have your desired look. For the sprinkles, I'll be using blue, yellow, and pink scrap yarn. For the sprinkles, it's a similar process. I just did a short little stitch there, and then I just went back on the stitch a handful of times to make it thicker, and so that the sprinkle is more visible. Once you have your desired thickness of sprinkle, then you'll tie off and then I just created a little tiny knot in the bottom corner so I can tuck it in later. I used a smaller crochet hook to pull those strands through to hide them inside the pop tart. Your Pop-Tart plushie is finished. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you next time.